Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Today I want to do the book lovers tag. I don't believe I've been tagged by anybody. I just saw it in um, Erica's channel. I will link her down her channel down below. And I really liked it. I thought it was really fun. And so I decided I would do it. The first question is, do you have a specific place for reading? Yes, that would mostly be my couch. So that area right there, usually with all those, with all those, usually with all those pillows and, and blankets too. I just get a cup of coffee, sit down in my little corner and read. Number two, bookmarks or a random piece of paper? Usually bookmarks and if I get a book from a place that has, that brings its own bookmark, I will usually keep it in the book itself. So like I got this book at uh, Shakespeare and Company. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so the Shakespeare and Company New York uh, book tag is still in there, or bookmark is still in there. If I get anything from Book Depository, you guys know that Book Depository sends you bookmarks, so I usually will leave them with the books that I bought them in. Number, th but I mean, I will use a piece of paper, and if I really am in need of it, I'll use receipts or what I, literally whatever is around. Number three, can you just stop anywhere or do you need to finish a chapter? I don't need to finish a chapter, but I do need to finish a paragraph, obviously. And if I can find some sort of break in the page, uh, yeah, of course, the book I pick up doesn't have any of those. But um, if I can find a sort of break in the chapter, I'll try to get there. But at least as long as I get to the end of a paragraph, that's all that, I, that matters. Number three, can you, oh, nope, number four. Do you eat or drink while reading? Sometimes not usually. Um, I guess if I'm maybe listening to an audiobook, then I, I will. But usually the most I'll do is just have some coffee. Number five, music or TV while reading? It really depends. Um, <clears throat> some, some TV shows I just cannot have in the background while I'm reading because they distract me and I'll just start watching them. Um, but some I definitely can and I will read and I'll just have it as background music. So Forensic Files is one that I always kind of have in the background no matter what I'm doing and it doesn't really distract me. Um, with music, it would have to be probably new music that I don't know. If I know the music, I'm tempted to start to sing it or dance along or something. So that can be distracting. Um, so yeah, I kind of try not to have anything as, as, or maybe like some sort of something in the background that just isn't going to distract me, but it, it, I have to be really selective about it. Number six, one book at a time or several? I used to be the strictly one book at a time person. I could not read multiple books. Now that, especially that I'm reading uh, a lot on audio, I am starting to read multiple books at once. Um, so right now I have My Brilliant Friend by, by Elena Ferrante on audiobook and I, I'm reading a little murder mystery, cozy murder mystery um, in physical form every every night. So I, I'm reading multiples now as time goes on. Number seven, do you prefer to read at home or elsewhere? I will literally read anywhere that I have time. Um, I always have a book with me, whether a physical one or audio books on my phone, obviously, or both. And if I have if I have a chair and I'm not doing anything, I will literally sit and read. The worst feeling in the world is being somewhere where I have to wait or I'm not doing anything and I don't have a book with me. Number eight. Do you read out loud or silently? I read silently. Number nine. Do you read ahead or skip the pages? No. No and no. Number 10, last but not least, do you write in your books? Again, no, no, no. I used to before, what, the only thing that I would do was put in the, when I was young, um, I would put in the beginning, uh, the first page, I would put property of Roxanne, but I don't do that anymore. I don't write in my books at all. The only books that I will write in are nonfiction sort of textbook ones um, or, you know, ones that are really very information heavy tech, uh, non-fictions where it's not like a memoir or something like that. If I'm reading something that's uh, about feminism or uh, like the new Jim Crow or something like that, that I will write in. 
uh, I'll highlight, I will underline, I might put questions around it. So those are the only ones that I will write in. But anything else, I most definitely will not write in them. So uh, yeah, those are the 10 questions. If you liked this and wanted to participate, then feel tagged. I have the I have tagged you. Um, as always, thank you for watching and for listening. I love you guys very much. 